guys, I may have made a huge mistake. Because I got back into Minecraft. It has been like, maybe, I don't know, seven years since I've played this game. I think I played it like for maybe two or three days, like three or four years ago, maybe. And I used to play this game all the time when it got out uh, at the very start. And I'm surprised that like I haven't kept up with it because as as interesting as what they added into the game was, I, I felt it was like too much. But for some reason now I want to like just rediscover a bit of the game and see what they've added. So yeah. But I'm very curious as well because I think I still have some of my old saves from back when I was playing. But I don't have all of them. I just have some of them that I know I've kept somewhere. And so I want to try to like reuse them with the new version of the game. See if I can like update the save and kind of retake, and retake them back. So... That's what we're gonna do today. Minecraft grave digging my old safe, I guess. And so we're gonna see if the game even recognizes those safe and if we can maybe play them and update them. And also kind of see like what it looks like, what I was doing back then, I guess. Okay, so he finds it. This one is just noted New World. I don't even know what I did on this map. This was from 2018. This one's from 20 from 2013. Version unknown. What do you mean unknown? Can we play this world? Oh, we can. I have no idea if this is gonna turn out good or not. Oh, so I was underground. Oh my god, the lag I have, guys, with the recording plus the gaming is like, oh my god. Is this video gonna be any good? I don't think so. I think like I went, back then I went like all the way here, digging and prepping the mine. But let's see what it's like up there. It's so laggy. The recording and the gaming is not going to be optimized at all. Oh my god. There's like... Yeah. Things I was doing back there. Yeah, sure. Wow, there, there was actually something there. We can see on the map. Sure is a long way to the top, guys. Now let's see what I was up to up here. Should we go out here or... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like up again. I'm not gonna go back here. I don't even remember what I was doing to be honest. Oh, there's a full house. Oh, I think I remember this world. What I was doing. Yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, look, the bathtub and all that. Just chill and cozy. But I think I remember what this map was for. Let's go see. I want to see, like, up top. Yeah, created a bridge there and yeah, let's go, let's go down that way. Let 
got some torches over there. It's very laggy, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, there was some construction there. I want to just like explore this, so let's go like game mode creative. Come on, fly. So we had that like little marine base here, little port of some sort, and we had, yeah, this was the one. So yeah, I keep saying this was the one not giving you guys any details. So you can see like here there's like uh, a cave that we were exploring and uh, fields that we built. And up top was the, the house with a bridge to the next mountain. This was one of the first map that we have played with my wife that we made uh, just to try the game back a while ago and uh, yeah I think this was where I was like just growing saplings to get some woods while my wife would go down to the fields and get her some food and apparently we were exploring the cave down there. Let's go take a look. I'm gonna try and like maybe tune it down on the video settings. Is it gonna lag less like that? Maybe. I don't know. You tell me when you see the video. Well, I actually I'm gonna see it when I when I make the video. And yeah, we we didn't like explore that much, and we were just starting out the map and we never got back to it and eventually we just un uninstalled the game so not much on this map gonna settle myself here and that's yeah that's like the underground entrance to the mine down there gonna go climb back to the house yeah so that this this is actually like very cool that this map is still like running in the game so we can maybe pick it up with my wife and uh, just go back to that save. But I want to check the other one because it's saying like he doesn't know the version of the game. We edit. What can we do? Open world folder. Make backup. Optimize world. What does that mean? Now time to optimize your world by making sure all data is stored in the most recent game format. Once done, your world may play faster, but will no longer be compatible with all the version of the game. What does the, the backup thing do now? Here. If I say make backup. Backed up. Okay. Where is the backup? What do, what, what, what do you do? Okay, so you have like a dedicated backup folder now. Uh, that's very cool. So I have a backup of this map, which I already had. Let's try like optimize. Yeah, sure. Let's erase the cache data. Let's see like if this helps any much. I'll see you guys in five minutes, given how long this is gonna take. Fifty percent, guys. Fifty percent to go. Okay, seems to be good now. Don't know why it's gray. I think it's because like that's that's still like the very old original Minecraft hill that was uh, used for the save file. I guess let's just try it out. Hope this doesn't make my computer like crash or burn or something. Let's. Oh my god, 
What is that? Where am I? <laughs> okay, well, I guess that happened. Where is this? Oh, I think I know this map. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. That's exactly the map I was thinking it was. And that's very cool because I remember I was doing some very, like, cool thing in these maps. And we were, like, playing with multiple people. And so we spawned in, like, that area. I'm gonna go there after. But we were, like, just near the jungle, which was new at the time. And uh, we had some ocelots that we that we kept to ourselves and we had like this huge the, the, this huge desert just right next to us and so we started like excavating something and uh, doing some some stuff yeah we were like we had obsidian over here we had like We had a lot of thing going in this one. It wasn't as organized, of course, when we did it. But uh, yeah, it was still like very cool. Let's go back up to the surface and let's go explore the rest. So we're back up. And so, yeah, the idea when we started this map was the area that I'm going to show you right uh, next, which is there behind. We made it so that it was like, sort of like a village. And we tried to build like the entire village with our own houses and sort of like having this ongoing map that we would have kept. Uh, you can see we have like the snowy snowy area just right here and there was like this uh, witch houses that uh, we wanted to take we wanted to use it originally and so yeah that that map like uh, we we were doing some pretty big thing and it was like online for a while where we mostly did the uh, LAN back then and uh, let's go with uh, that entrance that I made. You can see like we had that temple right here. And so I made like this uh, this area here which would uh, lead the villager outside the village to the, the desert area back there. And so when you would get to the village you would be granted... The, yeah, there's a, there's a dog. Or is it a cat? I don't know. You would be greeted by the the village entrance. You would have like all those houses. This was mine. This was uh, this was my house that I was designing, and I was doing like this very cool, like I guess path between all the houses. We had like the 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 town fountain which was coming from all the way up here, from those lakes, uh, which was flowing downwards into the, the town fountain. And then from the fountain was irrigating the entire village. So I guess let's just start with, uh, with my house. There we go, let's close the door. And so, yeah, this was like very very stone based and so we had like this huge kitchen in here with the counter and we had like this is supposed to be an ocelot i don't know what they changed this to regular cats um and then i would have like my own little cave here with the enchanting table and the the chests which is my my own personal like treasure room and when you go upstairs yeah you had like sort of a view downstairs with uh, a view here in the in the cage of the that was wolf 
also, so I had some. And uh, I never finished this, this here, and uh, here we have the last, the very last story of this building which was the master bedroom and you will have like this huge ceiling to see outside and when you actually go outside let's let's fly out can i fly out no well now i can let's fly so like i said this was my oh there's a balcony also in the downstairs story so this was my house the ones the one that I made for myself uh, this building was this building over here was more like to serve as a forge and I wanted you to have like this cool alley here which would lead to a shop here with uh, you have an access to the mine and you have like all these um, there's so many cats here with uh, the entire wall covered in furnace so you could like basically furnace everything you need to furnace and uh, there would be like um, a kitchen here I don't know if it's uh, if it's somebody's house or not doesn't seem like much I think it's like oh yeah that, 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 there's an horrible painting uh, I don't remember what this spot was for but there's definitely cake at the very least and so we had like um, a huge farm for mushroom here with here is it's a uh, nether wrath nether wolf beg your pardon and then you would have like uh snow uh, a snow farm actually back then you just have like these three snowmen kept on making snow here and we just go in and collect it we used it for like a ton of stuff um i think i was building like a defense system for a while uh, using the snowman and here we have one of my friends house uh, I think can't remember which one it was there's also like a huge wall of furnace it was a very cool village we had we had so much fun playing this back then and uh, Actually, the next house here was, uh, now, uh, you can see like it's way bigger than everybody else's. Uh, this was, I believe, one of, um, also one of my friends and she went like, she went crazy with her house. And uh, I remember distinctly that one time we pranked her and we flooded the entire house I believe it was first with water and then when we got bored with that we flooded it with lava and so when she logged in back into the game she just saw like everything burning down and it's, it was kind of funny there's a lot of wolf here and the bedroom then you have here all these like libraries and we we never played like in creative in this map by the way so all the things that you see all those bookshelves and all and the enchanting tables furnaces and everything the glass the wood uh, the stone everything was acquired legitly in game we never played like uh, we we never played in creative uh here you can see like all the farms and i think this one was also one of my friend's house i can't remember which one was my wife i think it was this one but i'm not sure i'm i'm really not sure which one was which i'm sure about that one because that one we screwed over very hard 
Uh, and this one, I think, was one of my friends. I don't think this was uh, my wife's. You can see, like, uh, we all pretty much, like, went with uh, stone and wood because we tried to keep the the whole village coherent. So, yeah, of course, now you can, like, make better stuff because there's been so many updates since we played this game. Yeah, huge bathroom, even with, like, a toilet here, I think. And, uh, yeah, let's go check the last house here, and then I'll give you a tour of the facility. So, yeah, oh! Very unfinished house. I don't know which one was this. Maybe this one's my friend and the other one was my wife. I don't know. Like we can peek through the windows. You had like this little side stairs to go in. You had like a story here with not much, not much in them. Just a stair to go up. And the last story of the building. And uh, I pretty much like gated the entire perimeter to keep the village from getting monsters all the time. We had like this uh, I built it myself. We're gonna take a look uh, right after. You can see like all the stairs going up. Um, and so yeah, the, all, the whole perimeter was gated to prevent monsters and uh, yeah I guess we're gonna start with like yeah let's start with the, the the fields so we had like the entire fields here that uh, actually my wife was uh, mostly the one who dealt with this we have some menageries all around here we have like wools of like various color and yes Again, we, we did this legitly, we didn't spawn anything, so all those, all, all those uh, sheeps were herded by uh, my wife and breeded to get all the colors that we could possibly want. And we got all of that. We, we managed to get some villagers uh, at one time it was like very complicated to get them uh, but now they like they they are added to the village and we tried to spawn a silver golem back in the day and uh, we never managed to get one because yeah we, we were not like hardcore playing like getting all the stuff and also back then it was like very very hard to get those yeah let's throw those eggs Oh, I forgot I wasn't creative, so it's kind of infinite. Let's let's not dwell on that. So we have like food here, of course, and we have like another building here uh, that we made. I don't know what for. I think this was like just general individual houses for the villagers. It was a long time ago. So this was like the, the the villager side of it. We had like a well here. Chickens are bathing in that. And we had like this sort of huge building where we kind of tried to optimize the space for like all the villagers to live in. As you can see. With uh, like even the the little upstairs neighbors, and so that was like the entire field with the the villager sites, and we had here like, and we had over here the access to the mines that we started uh, digging for the village which is disconnected from the other one that we saw outside of the village. 
and this was like a huge operation you can see like uh, I, I've installed the raise minimap mod and you can see like all those <laughs> all the, the the traces on the, on the map you can see like it's pretty much uh, yeah it's a it's a huge mine that we've made back then so this the access where we came from and you can see like we already quadrilated the the map over there and we went like all the way out there and we just dug everything we could find and here was the centerpiece originally of the mine so you have like all the these huge lanes here all around with a single one here that was the main access to the mine and I'm just gonna climb back from that so you had like two chests here and when you would go up you would have access to the forge workshop that I showed you guys earlier and uh, now let's take a close look at the yeah you can see like tons of villager over there there's a gate for the village and uh, we were like snugging this like giant giant cliff there and we had like a little sand bathe here that was accessible through there and uh, yeah you can see we were hugging like this huge mountain and uh, let's go take a closer look up there so we had monsters and we weren't worried about this side because if monster were to fall from that height uh onto the ground well they would be like basically dead and so we were we were not worried about that and i just like i just tried to make like a uh, top of the mountain little village park place here that you could access by here over the, the the mountain lake that were feeding the fountain of the town and this here that i've kept for last was actually my biggest project to date it was the town's hall and you can see like this a ton of glass that has been used and i've designed it like to be this huge thing with a side here and a top here and there was supposed to be like a town clock because quartz was introduced i believe not long uh, before or after uh the that we made this map there's a little like water also here with uh access to some low-key stuff back there but the idea was like you can see there was this huge bridge at the back of it where we could access from the bridge the little park square here and uh, I don't think I was planning anything special on this side or on the back but uh, yeah I made all those things and we never like we never finished it and this was like this was the biggest construction I think I made to date and there was like these huge uh, glass floors with uh, you you can see through all the things and you could like go down and you would have different section of the town hall here is like the stairs and over there as well and uh, you could see like each stairs with a design you would you would see downstairs every time that was like very very cool and you will have like this huge pillar at the center where you could look up or down and at the very bottom you would have the nether portal which we made so that it would fit in the building aesthetically and so you would have here the the library of the town with uh, again the the stairs here and you can see this side was done so you would have all these libraries and places to sit and stuff like that 
and when you would get down you would be greeted with the portal which was sideways for aesthetic and practical reasons where you could like obviously go to the nether and you would have like under the stairs under both stairs you would have like little spaces for every town folks to come and do their recipes or whatever and the entrance was left open by design it was very cool it was a very cool project i loved working on this and so yeah i think i don't have any more thing to show you in the village let's let's hop into the nether real quick we encased the nether portal here quickly because we didn't want to be like attacked as soon as we stepped into the nether and we had like this huge spot where we arrived and it was like you can see like up top of a, a big platform and i seem to remember we had like i don't know anymore i'm lost anyway we had a lot of thing going on that map wait can they bleed into the real world oh shit Come on, die. No! Die, bro. Come on. You as well. No! There you go. Now I'm gonna have to fix whatever I did. Oh, yeah, that's the snowy thing. That's the... Ch yeah. So we basically covered everything in ice so that it would keep fresh. And that was, yeah, that was from this house. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you the last building. So, that was like, kind of the whole village. And what I did here was uh, a monster farm. So you have the wood up there that we would go and, uh, and cut whenever we needed wood. And uh, here in this room, there was like, you can see like some red stones and stuff like that. So many cats, what, what are they doing here? So this was kind of the old designs for monster farms, where you would make huge dark spaces for monsters to pop in. And then when they would pop, you would like activate uh, pistons and stuff like that so they would fall in the water and drown them drown themselves so you can see like all around we have this redstone and uh, we had some glowstones to make the eyes of the creeper that we had back there uh, be glowing in the dark and so yeah you would have monsters popping in everywhere and uh, then they would go like into the center chamber and drown and when they do you would just like get the the loot back in here it took us like a very long while to build everything but uh, eventually it was worth it uh but uh, yeah that was like that was the biggest i think the biggest village that we've made to date in minecraft playing like with friends it was a very cool map to play on but there you go guys, those were the exploration of my old words and save uh, at least the one that I still have. I hope you still enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to make because it was like a big trip down memory lane, especially for me. And let me know in the comments down below, did you play Minecraft back when it was all the rage? I mean, one of the map is from like 2013 so you can see like how old this was this was 10 years ago so let me know all that in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel to never miss anything geek bye guys